In a stunning development, just hours ago, U.S. defense officials confirmed that Chinese J-20 stealth fighters were observed operating near Guam, deep within the Pacific theater previously thought secure. The aircraft reportedly evaded early warning systems and performed simulated strike runs before disappearing from radar. Pentagon sources called the maneuver a calculated show of force and admitted it caught Allied forces completely off guard. As tensions in the Indo-Pacific intensify, one thing is now clear. The skies are no longer uncontested. In the jet behind this shock, Chengdu's J-20. The appearance of China's Chengdu J-20 stealth fighters near Guam wasn't just a provocation. It was a declaration. With near-silent precision, these aircraft penetrated one of the most heavily monitored air zones on Earth demonstrating capabilities that no longer belong to the realm of speculation or military parades. The era of assuming Western air superiority has ended, and it ended not with a bang, but with a radar echo that never came. In a matter of hours, Chengdu's J-20 proved it is no longer just a technological milestone on paper. It's a fully operational combat system that outmaneuvers detection, rewrites air doctrine, and forces global militaries to rethink what air dominance really means in 2025. For years, the West speculated about the capabilities of China's fifth-generation aircraft. Military journals published pixelated photos of the J-20 on tarmacs, and think tanks debated whether its stealth profile was real or cosmetic. But those doubts evaporated within hours when a squadron of J-20s executed one of the most stunning air campaigns in recent military history. They weren't just hard to detect. They were invisible. They weren't just agile. They moved like ghosts. They weren't just smart. They were intelligent. And most worryingly for Western planners, they were not alone. This was a coordinated assault across multiple domains. Cyber, electronic warfare, and airspace. Chengdu's J-20 didn't just lead the charge. It operated as the central node in a digital battlefield matrix. The engagements began with the sudden neutralization of long-range radar stations using coordinated jamming and anti-radiation attacks. Within 15 minutes, enemy air defense networks were degraded to near silence. AWACS aircraft were blinded, frontline interceptors scrambled aimlessly, and entire flight paths collapsed under precision strikes. Reports from satellite imagery confirmed. J-20s had penetrated up to 1,500 kilometers into contested territory without being detected. They engaged multiple aerial targets, destroyed command centers, and returned with zero confirmed losses. Western airframes, including American F-15s and European Eurofighters, were caught completely off guard. One internal U.S. briefing labeled the engagement a stealth saturation event. The term refers to a nightmare scenario in which stealth aircraft operate in numbers too great to detect, respond to, or counter. The nightmare, it turns out, is now reality. Much of this overwhelming superiority came not from raw firepower, but from strategic integration. China has invested not only in airframes, but in the ecosystem around them. The J. 20 works in tandem with the KJ-500 early warning aircraft. Ground-based passive radar networks, Beidou satellite data relays, and swarms of surveillance drones. Every move, every strike, every evasive maneuver was coordinated through an AI-driven battlefield network. And that's what truly sets the Chengdu J-20 apart. Unlike older generations of fighters, which rely heavily on pilot instincts and ground control guidance, the J-20 20 is built for cognitive warfare. Its AI modules don't just suggest evasive maneuvers. They calculate threat trajectories in real time, optimize missile trajectories, and even coordinate decoys. One military AI expert in Beijing described it as the pilot's brain on steroids, networked and globalized. Evidence of this emerged during a dogfight simulation where 8J-20 was locked on by a pursuing aircraft. Before the enemy pilot could fire, the J-20 had already initiated a multi-vector evasion sequence. Releasing radar-reflective decoys, deploying heat-suppressing flares, and coordinating an intercept from a second stealth fighter hidden 80 kilometers away. 
The pursuer was eliminated before he understood the trap he had flown into. In another confirmed instance, J-20s used AI to simulate communication silence, shutting off all transmissions, relying solely on encrypted laser links and satellite bounce-back signals. Even in this radio dark mode, they maintained formation and executed a synchronized attack on ground infrastructure. Western defense officials admitted they had never seen such autonomous combat behavior outside of lab tests. And yet, the most alarming development isn't what the J-20 is today. It's what it's becoming. Newer J-20B and J-20C variants, already in advanced testing, are being outfitted with the WS-15 engine, a Chinese-developed powerhouse that provides thrust vectoring capabilities and supercruise speeds without afterburners. Once considered the J-20's biggest weakness, its dependence on Russian AL-31 engines, propulsion is now one of its growing strengths. With the WS-15, the J-20 gains speed, range, and altitude superiority, closing the final performance gap with American F-22 Raptors. Additionally, the aircraft is being integrated with hypersonic missile systems, namely the PL-17 long-range air-to-air missile with an estimated reach of over 400 kilometers. This means AJ-20 could engage and destroy enemy aircraft before ever entering their own radar envelope. But the Chengdu platform is evolving beyond a simple fighter. China's 14th five-year plan specifically outlines increased investment in swarm coordination, drone mothership integration, and AI-enhanced reconnaissance. Already, Footage has surfaced of J-20's coordinating attacks with GJ-11 Sharpsword, UCAVs, unmanned stealth drones capable of deep strike missions. These drone wingman configurations turn each man J-20 into a combat command unit, extending its kill radius and battlefield intelligence exponentially. And China is not building one or two of these. By late 2025, over 200 J-20s will be in active service with projections pointing to 275 plus by 2027. Two new production lines at Chengdu Aircraft Industry Group have reduced assembly time from 18 months to less than 10. Mass production is not coming. It's already here. Meanwhile, the F-22 Raptor line has been discontinued. The F-35, though more numerous, is still plagued by software bugs and export restrictions. And unlike the U.S., China is not reluctant to share. Several close allies in Asia, the Middle East, and even Africa have shown interest in a potential export version of the J-20, currently rumored as the J-20E. This variant is believed to retain much of the stealth and agility of the original, but with slightly downgraded radar and AI capabilities to comply with export policies. Still, for many nations currently flying outdated F-16s or MiG-29s, the J- 20E could represent a generational leap at a fraction of the Western cost. And cost is no small factor. According to Chinese defense sources, the estimated unit cost of AJ-20 is approximately $90 million, cheaper than the F-35's $130 million flyaway cost when accounting for logistical and software support. This economic advantage, combined with China's massive manufacturing capacity, means it can not only arm itself quickly, but supply global partners in record time. What we are witnessing is the emergence of an entirely new axis of air power, one that fuses stealth, AI, global logistics, and mass production. And it's not led by the United States. For American strategists, this is a wake-up call. The Next Generation Air Dominance Program, seen as the successor to the F-22, is still in development, with the earliest projections putting a prototype in combat readiness by 2030. That's a full five years behind the J-20's AI-integrated combat deployments. In response, the U.S. has quietly resumed work on classified sixth-generation drone swarms, directed energy weapons, and radar immune coatings. But insiders admit, China now has battlefield-tested systems in place while the U.S. is still prototyping. This shift is more than symbolic. It changes the strategic calculus across the South China Sea, the Taiwan Strait, and the wider Indo-Pacific region. Carrier battle groups that once projected U.S. power now must contend with aircraft that can strike from beyond visual range, 
unseen, unheard, and possibly unmanned. It is not just the future of dogfights that is being rewritten, it's the entire doctrine of air superiority. The world skies are no longer ruled by loud engines and superior pilots. They are now dominated by algorithms, sensors, and coordinated digital ecosystems. The fighter jet is no longer a solo warrior. It is part of an intelligent, adaptive, and autonomous network. And right now, China owns that network. Chengdu's J-20 isn't just a fighter jet. It's a statement. A signal to every nation watching that China is not imitating. It is innovating. It is not reacting. It is defining. And so, the question facing every Air Force on Earth is no longer. How do we fight the J-20? The real question is, can we afford to fall behind it?